Hey everybody, welcome to day seven of Coach Basics. Today we're gonna to be talking about objection handling. The two main objections that you're probably going to be getting from people is that they don't have the money or they can't afford it um, or they don't have time or um, they need to talk to their spouse or you know they just mostly the biggest one is that they can't afford it it's the money objection okay so this is going to be a really short video because I have um, a really great team call that I did a while back that talks all about how to handle objections all right and um, it's a 40 minute call so I'm gonna keep this one short and I'm just going to give you some input on objection handling and the two main things that I feel that you can do to kind of dodge those objections or at least handle them in a little bit better way okay so the main reason that people get objections is because they aren't answering they're they're not ex asking the right questions to people okay I always say that the 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 beginning of the message that you when you start to talk to people is the most important finding out their why digging into why they want to lose weight why they want to change why they are reaching out to you for help Okay, and if they just say because they want to lose weight, I want to lose 20 pounds, that's not good enough. Okay, yes, that is what we help people do. We help them lose weight, but just them telling us that they, the reason why they are reaching out is because, oh, I want to lose 20 pounds and I want to fit into my bathing suit this summer. That's not, that's a surface level why is what I call it. It's just surface level. We gotta dig deep and find out why they really wanna lose 20 pounds. Okay, they wanna fit in that bathing suit, but why do they wanna fit in that bathing suit? Because they want to feel good and they wanna look good. Well, why do you wanna feel good and why do you wanna look good? Um, because I feel like crap right now. Because I don't feel comfortable around my husband. Uh, because I feel ashamed of my body and it's really messing with my head and it's holding me back from, from feeling like I'm worth it. You know, okay, well, why is that important to you? Well, because I am a mother and I want to set a good example for my children and I am sick and tired of living this life when I know that I can be living it so much better. Right? I mean, do you see how I just dug, you know, that started with a conversation of saying, I wanted to lose 20 pounds. If a coach says, okay, great, you want to lose 20 pounds, here's what I got for you. Then, then objections come up because they haven't yet been anchored to the really deeply rooted reason why they want to do this. When you can dig deep and you can anchor somebody into the depth of their soul, it sounds deep. It is. It has to be. You know, if you can anchor somebody into their really deeply rooted reason why they want to do this, like because it, their life depends on it, because they want to be a better mother, because they don't want to go through life just you know, just walking through life being mediocre, when you can get people to say that and they hear themselves say it, when it comes time to tell them how much it's going to cost, money doesn't matter, right? That's the kind of approach you need to take. Okay, so there's one tip. Um, the next one I wanted to um, give you comes straight out of the book, Go Pro. Okay, that book, remember, the one I recommended that you get in the beginning of this um, training? It comes right out of Go Pro. Um, you want to follow up with people, okay? And a lot of people say, well, I, I you know, I, I sent them information and I talked to them, but I don't want to feel like I'm bugging them. Um, and uh, I just don't know when to follow up with them. Well, here's a really great tip on how to do that, okay? Set the follow up, okay? Every time you talk to somebody and you give them information to look over or you ask them a question, you ask, Here's some information for you to look over. Um, when, would, when do you think you'll be able to look this over? When do you think you'll be able to watch this video? That way I know when I can follow up with you, okay? So you ask them when you want, when they want to be followed up with, okay? And they'll say, oh, I think I could watch it probably after work tomorrow. So if you, you know, and say, okay, great. So maybe tomorrow around 6 p.m. I can follow up with you and you will have watched it. And they say, yeah, sure, okay, so write it down. I'm gonna follow up with Susie on Tuesday at 6 p.m. And then you follow up. That way you know, you know and they know that we're gonna be following up and nobody has got any weird feelings about being bugged, okay? So there you go. Those are my two top tips to dodge objection handling, okay? Please 
Um, if you want to dig deeper into objection handling, watch the 40 minute or listen to the 40 minute team call that is um, posted below in the link below. Okay, guys, post your comments and questions below um, on more um, questions that you have on objection handling. This is a big one. This is one that you really need to um, dive into this skill and get really good at if you want to um, power through those objections and um, get people started, okay?